keep this one. So I'm gonna keep this one pretty simple. Um, just do some little basic, cool little trap trap drums. Um, banging out like that. Don't need to have too many sounds, really. So today, so far, um, in the studio anyway, everything I've done is I just got off a Skype call. Somebody's showing me how to do uh, more stuff in Adobe After Effects so I can upload my beats on YouTube as well um, with like little effects going on and shit. I uh, did some beat mixing orders uh, and now somebody uh, paid me to do a paid collab. Um, yes, a paid collab for some of you who are like, damn, you know, most of you already understand, but for th those of you who are like, shit, he charges to do collabs, I don't charge, of course, people that I usually do work with, like Vibe, or somebody that you know that I work with, but most of the time, anybody that you see me do a collab with that I've put up, um, that you don't recognize who they are, or you've never seen me work with them before, it's probably a paid collab, um, and usually it's just because, really, that's just a form of promotion, um, usually when I do a collab with somebody, and you know they put they did a collab with me um, and they promote it all over uh, and usually I'll retweet it and you know shout them out on Twitter too um, and you know they just gain more fans and interested customers and rappers or singers or whoever from it uh, so it's really not even only a collab with me but they're actually paying for the promotion side of it too so anyway somebody paid me to do one he only sent a few sounds really well I mean he sent it as uh, like a synth a piano another piano and a couple other sounds, but I really only liked a few of the sounds, so I just took the synth, that, the synth and the piano out, and I might not use the piano either. Um, and right now I'm just adding to it, finishing it up. It shouldn't really take long, uh, because it ended up being like a brass. It's kind of going towards that epic, not epic, but trap brass banger 
Um, not like an anthem, but just got some brass in it. And I make that type of shit in my sleep. Um, so that's what I'm pretty much doing.
working on a EDM, oh not EDM, I'm working on a pop type track, some like Katy Perry type shit or something. Um, I just got the virus TI2 to finally work um, the way I needed it to uh, because I set it up in Studio One before and I did something that was messing it up to where as soon as I would, I could play around with the sounds, but as soon as I would hit record, my entire computer would crash. And I was like going off because I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get back into using my my virus more and stuff and you know what's going on. But I figured it out. Uh, so now that I got it working, I just randomly started up this track. And actually, you know, I was just playing around with some sounds um, and it actually coming along pretty well. Uh, you know, something different. Um, have this like little guitar, like this little live guitar lick uh, type thing going. And I'm trying to see if I can transition it into this beat. Um, you know, because those type of beats always have that big massive hook and then like the verses kind of be all groovy and shit. So that's kind of the sound I'm going for. Right now I'm looking in the Pro Mixed Altamia drum kit. Um, looking for a, a good kick uh, for this section. I already have the kick and stuff for that hook section. Um, but I'm using a bunch of drums from, from here. Because, like I say, with all of the drum kits, especially the ones I make that are on industrykits.com, like the Pro Mix series, I make them to where they have all different kinds of sounds, not just all trap beat drums or all pop drums or all R&B drums or all types of drums. So right now I'm trying to see this one might work pretty good. looking for something to put right here but I'm finding a bunch of other stuff that could fill the beat in anyway. Another reason why I love Studio One. You can just right click something and hit bounce and it'll change it from MIDI to wave and put it right where it's supposed to go. So that's good for um, these, these little keyboard sounds and stuff. So I don't have to go through all this trouble. Right, effects. And this was a little bubbly effects. Alright, let's edit the volume of this.
originally though. Just going to the sound. I was looking for something. Anything.
So right now, um, I'm working on a couple paid collabs. Uh, somebody had me do with them. Uh, they sent me the track outs for a couple of the tracks that they wanted me to do. Um, and that's what I'm doing today is I'm just wrapping up both of them, uh, putting the finishing touches on these uh, paid collabs. already sounded good but I went ahead and did like a little experiment was like you know what would it sound like if I pitched the entire beat down like a couple octaves uh, and yeah it sounds sick so I'm probably just gonna keep it like that <laughs> 